Here's today's In Touch devotion. Today's scripture reading begins in verse 18 of 1 Corinthians chapter 1. For the word of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise, and the cleverness of the clever I will set aside. Where is the wise man? Where is the scribe? Where is the debater of this age? Has not God made foolish the wisdom of the world? For since, in the wisdom of God, the world, through its wisdom, did not come to know God, God was well pleased, through the foolishness of the message preached, to save those who believe. For indeed, Jews ask for signs, and Greeks search for wisdom. But we preach Christ crucified, to Jews a stumbling block, and to Gentiles foolishness. But to those who are the called, both Jews and Greeks, Christ the power of God and the wisdom of God, because the foolishness of God is wiser than men, and the weakness of God is stronger than men. If you've been a Christian for any length of time, You've probably heard that the gospel of Jesus Christ is the only message God has given us by which we can be saved. It doesn't change with the times or cultural patterns, and those of us who are believers are not to adapt it to be more appealing to a lost world. Paul said that the word of the cross was a stumbling block to the Jews and foolishness to the Gentiles, but that didn't stop him from preaching Christ crucified. Crucifixion was a shameful form of execution, and the thought of a Savior nailed to a cross was offensive and ridiculous. How could such a God save anyone? The gospel is still offensive today, though it's usually because people don't want to admit they're sinners or accept that Jesus is the only way to the Heavenly Father. Some believers may be tempted to downplay the role of sin and shame when sharing the good news. However, neglecting to mention sin, repentance, and the exclusivity of Christ robs listeners of the chance to be genuinely saved. When the true gospel is presented, God's Spirit is able to overcome the offense and bring people to Jesus Christ.